game. I'm Pith and Lagoon. What's up, guys? But we are in the game. If I get the chance, there, yeah, boy, we will put the team names up on the screen. But you can go ahead and check it out with the names on the left and right sides. We got Team Demon on the right, Fundamentals on the left. So we can go through our lane matchups here. It's going to be Slam versus Elodi playing in the mid lane. Our solo lane matchup is Kefla versus Yuka up here. In the jungle for fundamentals, we've got Triple X playing as Slims. Kilgroth is going to be the roamer here, played by 12 Nuns alongside YKT on the Thane. Then on the red side, we've got Don Kakita playing the Wonder Woman. Team E playing the roamer, that's going to be Scarface. Zephyrus is going to be ZKC. That's going to be in the jungle here. So we're going to try to keep an eye on our, a couple of our roamers. The They should be making most of the action around the map happen here. 12 nuns going around. And Tulin quickly clearing off that lane. He is able to have a lot of presence in clearing the lanes and then getting around as the stun hits onto a Lodi. Lots of damage out of Triple X. Getting the big burst out of Tolan. That will be the first blood for Fundamental. ZKC now getting into the action, but he is right next to Triple X, and Triple X is not afraid at all. We'll get the double out here onto Team Demon. That's an excellent start for Fundamentals. And they will be able to turn this into an early Abyssal Dragon take. I do love this. You keep the aggression up. Now, Teamy has scattered this out. Wonder Woman also getting in range, but I don't know if they... Yeah, they're absolutely not going to be able to steal this out at all, and Triple X, along with the rest of Fundamentals, will be able to first, firstly secure that Abyssal Dragon. Hyuka taking some damage off the Spear, Spear Sentinel. I'm not really sure it's worth it. Slam in some trouble, possibly. Does get some nice damage on the Hyuka, but his burst is gone now. Can he stay in this one? Here comes Triple X, but he does not want to get into the fight right now. Just throwing a Spear to maybe help out his friend, but Team Demon are able to strike back here. Get something on the board. Uh, Mr. Wabbit, the teams can indeed look at the stream for position, but I did ask before I started if there was going to be a delay, and I wasn't told anything. Kefla forcing out that Malak ultimate, but he is just stuck in here, trying to put out as much damage as possible. Lodi doing a lot of work to zone anyone out, but there is nobody in range anyway. So Team Demon getting someone out of their jungle. Nice little strike back for them. I believe that Kefla was a little bit deep. But I wouldn't be too worried. Malak is just one of those guys that is going to have a huge presence in the match regardless. Oh, meanwhile, <laughs> Triple X getting the dirty damage done onto the Huka. And he's looking for another stun. Scarface just off the mark with that one. And he's trying to get over to that heal. We'll be able to get it. Spirit Sentinel, though, Sentinel, though will be secured by Fundamentals. We'll heal up a bit here, but I think it should be fine. All right. So yeah, I tried to do the dil due diligence on the delay, but looks like nobody was really having it. So we'll just do we'll just do our thing. Aggression to the bottom lane for fundamentals, and Team Demon will follow them down here. Spears off the mark from Triple X. Bissell Dragon is up. Nice stun out of Elodie. We'll catch out too. Trying to get that set up as Scarface is way too deep, and he's going to be taken down first. But here come Team Demon back with some damage. Kilgroth in the middle of it all, and huge AoE out of Team Demon. Fundamentals are not doing a great job of staying apart. Malak will be getting in the fight, but Triple X is just trying to do anything he can right now. He's getting the damage out, will get one kill, but is it going to be enough? He's running away from Malak, taking them right over to their tower, and he will just get in way too late. Big sword out of him. Kefla is just looking around with not too much else to do. It could be a full team wipe here if Kefla isn't careful. He's trying to put out the damage. Yuka is right next to him, but he's not going to be taken down, and Kefla will fall for the full five-man team wipe at bottom. It's a bit unfortunate there for Fundamentals. They ended up grouping up in this little brush area, and that's just so easy for the Liliana to take out. And they ended up getting taken just way too quickly then. They have to work on their positioning a little bit in the upcoming fights. Teamy getting zoned out of the mid a little bit. 
Well, he's able to get around very quickly, and Liliana is also shown up. Now, one thing that wasn't taken in that last fight was the Abyssal Dragon. There was just too much damage done, and all four, minus the Malak of Fundamentals, are in the area. Abyssal Dragon will be taken by Fundamentals. Triplex doing the dirty damage. But again, they are grouping up just a little bit too much. 12 Nuns trying to do the work as Kilgarth on the backside, but they are going to ignore him and continue to try to go for Triplex, who they end up taking him down. But there's just so much damage done. As Phil Swift would say, that's a lot of damage. And indeed, it will be three down for Fundamentals. Now, while all this was going on, Kefla was doing some work in the top lane, and the Abyssal Dragon was taken by Fundamentals, so it's not all bad for them. But they really have to get their farm going and just get some work done outside of these fights. Looking at the gold, uh, Triplex currently leading that net worth. But he's closely followed behind by the other teams, Liliana. So Team Demon, they are staying in that gold battle as much as they can. Elodi has been scoured out going into that brush, and Kefla is right there, gets the sword onto her. Lodi still working around. All in from Malak. That is super aggressive, and he's going to be able to tank up so much damage for his team. Nice spear onto ZKC as well. Teamy decides that it's time to get out, but ZKC wants to fight. Big knock up from him. And this is going to be a great fight for Team Demon. Hyuka working his way around. 12 nuns trying to get as much damage as possible out. As they are quite low, but he's not being able to follow these up. He does get in range of Hyuka. He gets into the brush. And 12 Nuns cannot get the targeting there. Reaction in from Teamy. This is that hook, though. So we're going to get back to normals here. Still, the gold lead is on fundamental side. They've got two towers down, or two, uh, one tower down, two dragons, as opposed to Team Demon's one. Don Kikita in. Tries to go for 12 nuns. Is very tanky and does have some follow-up from his team. So Fundamentals cannot go too far here. Teamy thinks about it. Does not end up doing his stun. Abyssal Dragon taken down low. Triple X will be able to secure Slam trying to get out. He's forced to run away from this one. And here come the tanks for Triple X and the rest of Fundamentals. They'll take down one. Slam does fall though. And there's a huge AoE out of Team Demon. They gotta be careful, but 12 nuns, look at how tanky he is. Does end up getting hit by the Reiki shot. But still, fundamentals will come out on top of that fight. Only Zeph is staying alive with just a sliver of health. This should turn into yet another tower for fundamentals. Triple X getting the damage done there, and they've also got a push going in the mid lane. So now Team Team are gonna have to make a choice. Do they want to defend in mid? Or do they want to try to stop Triple X at bottom? And this blue buff is picking up. Picked up. Picking up. We like to make up words here. Ooh, another beautiful spear out of Triple X. He's really hitting those today. But again, that mid tower goes down to YKT. So it's so much an, of an advantage in terms of map control for fundamentals as they take yet an another tower off the map. And Triple X continues to control those buffs. Elodie has to be careful in the mid lane. Ever since Kefla started getting involved in the fights, going in first, Fundamentals have been doing much better, and that's really been the key for them, getting that solo laner involved. ZKC trying to take that Michael and will end up getting it, but is it going to be enough Yuka? Oh, that spear was just off the mark from Triple X, and Team Demon know exactly what they want here. Don Katita gets a nice bracelet of submission onto three, but in the end, his team is just being zoned out by the Kilgroth. Beautiful ultimate from Melok will take a little bit out of this fight and look at that huge damage there. Slam almost taken down, but he's going to be able to stay alive for now. How deep do they want to go? Lodi within inches of his life there will be able to stay alive and Hyuka is now left. 3v1. Will he be able to do it? Answer no. Shut down by Slam. Might be able to say that he got the door slammed on his fingers there. It's kind of painful. Not fun to watch. But I'm sure if you're fundamentals, they are enjoying every second of it. Taking a look at the, the net worth now, Triple X 6.7k is far and above what Team Demon have been able to pick up here. And Malak's also doing a, a great job. Kefla staying in that net worth battle as well. It's a 4.7k gold lead for Fundamentals. 
doing some quick math there as we have a fight around the Abyssal Dragon. Triplex in the middle of three. That is not where you want to be if you are a Slims. And Kefla is going to try to do all that he can here. Tries to steal the dragon, tried to swipe it away, but it was not happening there. And now it will be Team Demon getting into the fight. That ultimate finally comes off cooldown for Kefla. He will be able to hit it on the one, but it is a very tanky one at that. Wonder Woman caught in the middle of it all, but she is perfectly happy to be there. One being taken down for Team Demon and Fundamentals. How are they actually cleaning this up? Kefla tanking so much up for his team. Teamy taken down. Don Katita trying to walk away. But I don't think it's going to be working out like that today. And it's going to be four taken down on Team Demon. And somehow, after losing the Slims, Fundamentals get back into the fight. And they clean house. And that's what happens when your tanks start tanking and your damage dealers start dealing that damage. Slam allowed to stay alive in that last fight, and that just made it even easier for Kefla, who is a big damage dealing monster himself, to just stand there and take it. It feels a lot better when you have people working on the back lines for you as a tank. Absolutely. Working up some big items here on Fundamentals. Kefla. Picking up some good stuff here. There is a heal kit in the brush trying to get the stun out on the Kefla. Will it be there? Dark Slayer taken down though, and he's perfectly happy to tank up all of this. Fundamentals are going to be at this top fight in force. Triple X taking some damage from Hyoka. Scarface is still alive after that resurrect, but it's not going to matter because Fundamentals have taken down two and the Dark Slayer. Kefla coming in from behind on the Elodi, doing some damage to the minion wave. Surprisingly, Fundamentals are not pushing their advantage here. They're going to get the split push off in the mid while Triplex is clearing off the jungle. He should be able to make his way into battle very quickly, and Don Kakita could find himself in trouble. Spear comes through, easily dodged, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Bracelets of Submission come through, but Don Kakita is so far gone at this point that it it's almost laughable that he's trying. Hopefully he's going to be able to get a little bit of a better start next time. Big stun out of DKC, but it's just not enough at this point. The tower is being taken down. Minion's gone at this point. But I don't think that the aggression is. Fundamentals, they can keep pushing this in. There's nothing for ZKC to do outside the base right now. And I'm almost worried for Hyoka's life here. YKT comes through, pushes him back. Does end up getting the slow on to him. But while that's happening, another... Abyssal Dragon is being taken. Elodi almost chunked down by Triple X. You have to be so careful there. And Slam manages to secure that kill on the ZKC, putting him down for the count. Fundamentals will push in their advantage. They've got the minion wave at top. They've got Killgross securing bottom. Big ultimate. It's just zoning, though, for Kefla. That's all they want. Look how slow Team Demon get into that fight. Eventually, though, that Fiery Furnace is gone. But it doesn't really matter. Fundamentals take down three. With ZKC still respawning in the base. And mid is being pushed out. Elodi, the only one alive, tries to get away with the transform. And Triple X wants to chase. He is not really done with this one. Let's take some harass from that base. But in the end, Fundamentals walk away with game number one of this best of three. It was an all right start for them, but then you just started to see that gold advantage coming through. And uh, it wasn't long before Fundamentals took game one. So beautiful performance out of them. I mean, Slam, he, he really did the work there. He did quite a bit, and the tanks for Fundamentals were, were on point. They were, as they say, on fleek. So that's game one, going to Fundamentals. We will take a short break before we get into game number two, so make sure you stick around for more Premier Valor League here on the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll be right back.